I got my results. They're pretty much what I expected, but there are a few surprises. Okay, I'll be honest. I don't completely understand the whole project. I don't completely understand everything about genetics. But what I do understand is that we have these genetic markers within us and that there are certain regions around the world where those genetic markers are more common. And so the testing doesn't determine race or what races you are. It determines what regions of the world you came from. And for all we know, race back in the day could have been something totally different than it is today. Well, my genetic markers state that I am 44% Northern European, 38% Mediterranean, and 16% Southwest Asian. Now, there are nine regions where more or less everybody on the planet comes from. And these regions are named after the people that come from those regions. They are Native American, Northern European, Mediterranean, Sub-Saharan African, Southern African, Southwest Asian, Northeast Asian, Southeast Asian, and Oceanian. Okay, so there's one thing that I was pretty excited about, and that is that I found out that I have Neanderthal DNA, which is something I suspected for quite a while now. And it's 2.3% uh, Neanderthal, which is pretty low, but they say that the test isn't perfect and that as more people um, put in for their DNA being tested and that they can get a better accuracy, those numbers might go up. The other really surprising thing that I didn't expect at all was that I am 0.5% Denisovan. I had no idea. I didn't even think of that. So I am basically three different types of human races. I can honestly say that I am 97 to 98 percent human. <laughs> I just think that's pretty cool. So the genetic markers that are associated to different regions are called haplotypes. And uh, on my maternal line, the haplotype is J1C3C. They don't really have, they have these heat maps that kind of show you where your family is possibly directly from. And on my mom's, they don't have a haplotype map, heat map for that. Um, but they have a large map that shows you uh, the haplogroup J. My father's, my paternal ancestry, um, is actually R-M222. That one was very specific. The heat map showed that my family is from Northern Ireland, Southern Scotland, a Western region of France, Southern region of Sweden, and an Eastern region of Denmark. Those are the only places where those are found. It's kind of exciting for me because for a while now, I've been suspecting that my family's from Sweden just from finding my family's last name in things associated with Sweden and Denmark. I've also suspected we were from Denmark too. And to find out that my specific haplotype is found in Sweden and Denmark is pretty exciting for me. My aunt has told us for a long time now that we're from Ireland. I didn't really believe it because I haven't seen the records for that, but she's been doing research and things. And so now this confirms that we are from Northern Ireland. So, my paternal lineage is pretty specific. My maternal isn't so specific, but still pretty exciting. I think one of the most exciting pages that they had in the Geno 2.0 project is showing you the different blendings of these regions in people that we're all familiar with. I live in Arizona and Arizona is full of Native Americans and Hispanic people. The Mexican Americans, their blending of DNA is really fascinating. It seems like they're a mixture of a little bit of everything. Then the Native American DNA is actually found in peoples in Siberia. There's a couple people from regions that they're pretty much 100% their region. And that's the Bushmen of Africa, which they call the Southern Africans, and the Oceanians. 
such as the Papua New Guineans. Um, I'm suspecting that means Australian Aboriginal peoples too. The, I think it's Melanesians, uh, Pacific Islanders and stuff like that. So it's pretty amazing to see. Just they show you like different groups of people from different regions and what their genetics are blended into from the nine different regions that they showed us. So my my three regions that are associated with me, they also show you the most common percentages with those regions. And they ask you before you do the test where you you know where your genetics are from. And I said on my mom's side that I knew that we were from Great Britain and from my father's side I knew we were from Germany. That was the the ancestors the furthest back that I knew of. So they, they show you how your percentages relate to percentages in those uh, countries. And they were really close. Also interesting in Finland and uh, Northeastern Europe, there's a lot of Northeast Asian in those groups. And I thought that was really fascinating too. Anyway, these are my results. I don't know what more else to say. It's pretty exciting. I'm anxious to see how the percentages change as more people uh, volunteer to find out where they're from. It's amazing how diverse we are as humans, and I'm glad I could be on this planet with all of you. Goodbye, and if there's anything more, I will be sure to make another video about it. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a comment below.